All right, what is going on, everybody? So as of recording this, it has been 36 days since I was last active on my YouTube channel. I was doing the third path, or my third path of Necropolis. I was streaming that, and uh, since then I haven't put anything out, and I've just been really busy, but I have been recording some stuff, so I'm gonna put all of that stuff into this big update video. This video will have all of the openings and rank ups and stuff that I did over the past month that I wasn't able to get around to making videos of. And also a little bit of other stuff here and there, but yeah, let's get right into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So as of recording this, Battlegrounds season rewards have just come out. So yeah, let's go claim them. We got, I guess let's do it this way because this is the least valuable one so we placed 11 to 20 percent my lance doesn't really push battlegrounds at all so these are just extra rewards let's go ahead and claim that get let's go with skill sure and then for solo event i did uh i'm gonna be super transparent i did i think 305,000 or something i barely did over 300,000. i just got the milestones then stopped and yeah, I ended up with 40,000. This will definitely go up, like the requirements will go down. A lot of people are pushing this season, but in the future, that that score should place you higher. But yeah, I mean, this is just, I wasn't really, I did it for the milestones anyway, so it didn't really matter to me. That's just free extra rewards. And here's the big one. Where did I place? I placed in Arcane 3, I believe. Yeah, I got 25,000, so I placed at the very bottom of Arcane. I was actually Arcane 2 on the last day, but I guess it went up at the very end, so that's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I ended, I pushed for 140 points, and then I stopped there, because I was at 140 points, which was Arcane 2, and I had enough points for all of the milestones already, so I was like, I'll just stop there, because I didn't think I was going to be able to push into uh, the next rank. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This is the highest I've ever placed, and I'm pretty proud of it considering my deck is like the antithesis of this season. Like, actually, wait, before I claim that, I mean, just like, look at my deck. Like, my deck, I mean, like, look at my top champs. So many of my champs are not tactic. Like, the only meta tactic, I don't have a thing. I don't have, like, uh... Adam Warlock or any of the really really broken defenders. The only really good defender I have is Kingpin. Everyone else kind of just blows. Baron Zemo is like fine, but he's not the best. And then my only really good tactic attacker is Sunspots because Weapon X isn't that great of a tactic attacker. So being able to push that high during the tactic meta, I'm pretty proud of that because I'm pretty much playing like with barely any tactic champs and. Yeah, a lot of other people ranked up like uh, Spider-Man Supreme and like all and like they they ascended their things, sick two hundred and all this stuff. And I didn't. I did zero exactly zero rank ups for this meta, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, I did some of the Ex Magica incursions while I was uh, traveling, so I didn't record any of it, but. I do have enough to pick up some crystals now. I got enough for this and enough for the Titan. I did all of the uh, the Saga incursions through Zone 25. And yeah, it was kind of annoying. I didn't do it itemless. I had to pump some revives and stuff at the end. After like, I think I made it to Zone 20, but yeah, let's go buy this stuff up. So I have, an, I have a Titan and the incursions one. And I think I'm going to start with the incursions one. So I have uh, one champion that I very much want, and then two that I would be really happy with, and then the rest are like, whatever. I'm not even going to say what they are. Um, you can take your guesses in the comments right now if you want to. But yeah, let's go get it. So where is it? There it is. Okay, so and if you didn't know, in here there is... Wait, let me go back. Where is it? There is uh, Namor, Ronin, Mojo, Hulkbuster, Captain America, Infinity War, and Angela. So one of each class. So yeah, let's just get it. Um, okay. Please. 
Please be the one I want. Please be the one I want. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Okay, okay. That's... That's good. I'm really happy with that. Because I was waiting for the longest time. So let me go show you this. Um, wait, let me finish that. I'll click this. Okay. That is great. That was one of, not the one that I wanted the most, but the one that I wanted the second most. So if you're wondering who I wanted, number one, I wanted Ronin. Or not, wait, did I say Ronin? Not Ronin. Please, no. Um, Namor. Because I already have seven star Namor, and honestly, I like Namor enough, and I don't have the six star level ranked up. So I am down to put all of my SIGs into my uh, seven star Namor if I get him awakened, because he can take the X Magicka SIGs, and I don't really have any other champs that I particularly want to SIG up. So honestly, I would do it. I would SIG Namor up as much as I can, because I can eventually get him to SIG 200. Very far from now, but I, I would do it. So that's who I really wanted, but yeah, Angela is great, because look at this. So my six star Angela has been sitting here at rank three for like the longest time because I wanted to open my next incursions crystals to see if I would get her before I invested in taking her to rank four or five but now I don't really have to I mean you don't get the uh the utility with the auto block negation with a seven star but honestly I'll take this I'll probably rank to her uh whenever I get the cosmic catalyst to do so so yeah, that is a great pull. And so yeah, the one I wanted was Namor, and the other two were um, Angela and Hulkbuster. So this was basically my second best option, so that's great. And now let's go get the Titan. So there is one champion in particular that I really want. But I mean, there's so many good pulls in here. Just please don't give me like someone that I really don't want. As long as it's someone that I at least kind of want, I'll be happy with it. So yeah. Let's get it. Okay. This... <laughs> That's fine. This goes out to uh, JJ and JS. JS in particular, big Luke Cage fan. So... Honestly, I'll take that. I like Luke Cage. I actually, um, let me go show you. So I had a four star Luke Cage maxed out when four stars were actually relevant. Where is my four star Luke Cage? There he is. Yeah, I had him maxed out for like the longest time when four stars were actually relevant. I really liked him. A lot of people didn't like him because back then there was the willpower thing. So you couldn't use him in like PvP game modes because he would just give the enemy infinite healing because willpower was per debuff, not per um, champion. Or not per champ. what am I saying? Per unique debuff. It was per debuff, so if you were playing Luke Cage or Ant-Man or someone, you just heal them infinitely. But yeah, I mean, he had a lot of damage and I used him quite a bit in questing because he gets damage for every uh, like exhaustion, I think, is the debuff he puts. And then yeah, the buff just made him better. So honestly, I'll take that too. I probably won't rank to him, but I'll definitely get some use out of him. I, I really like him. Uh, I, I used to really like him pre-buff back in the day, and now he's buffed. So yeah, I mean, if I could, if I could dupe this guy, if I could dupe this guy out of a basic when he gets added, that would be amazing. I would absolutely love that because all you need him is Sig one. And then he gets a lot better because he can tank like an SP3 or, or something with his indestructible, which is really, really nice. So yeah, if I could get one dupe on him, that would be great. But yeah, definitely not bad at all. Shout out to JS and JJ. So yeah, um, pretty good. The fact that I got Angela made this opening great. Now I can use her in the next incursions, actually. So that'll be really fun. So as you can see, there's a double level up right now, skill and level up, which is great because that is exactly what I have been waiting for. So yeah, it's time to go. So if you recall, when I did my Necropolis path that gave me a 4-5 to five gem, I didn't use it on anybody. 
and that was specifically for this very person. So yeah, let's go. This is going to be a really, really big rank up just in terms of how much I'd sow in uh, resources. So let's see. It is going to be... Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Aegon. It's going to be Aegon. And if you recall, my Aegon used to not be awakened. <clears throat> I popped a gem into him and some sigs because I some of the sigs were going to expire. So yeah, I won't. I don't think I'll be able to get him to sig 200, but he'll he'll go there eventually. But so yeah, let's go. Let's uh, just start it off. So he's going all the way from rank one to rank five and ascended. So this is gonna be so fun. So yeah, uh, I got these from some deal a while ago. I pretty much bought the deal for the golden ISO, but these also came with it. But it was just a ton of golden ISO that I needed to take up kingpin. But uh, yeah, without further ado. Let's go. Boop. Cool. Rank four, Aegon. Boom. And now just one more, and that's who I was saving this 4 to 5 gem for, so yeah, here it goes, Aegon. I'm gonna try a um, an incursions run with this guy. My team, I think, will be Aegon, Odin, and Angela, and yeah, I'll just see how it goes. Hopefully, I can make it all the way through on the like non X Magica one with the, with that team that would be really fun especially because when you do that uh you you can be ramping Aegon while Angela is just ramping naturally from having the synergy so I think that that'll be really great There we go. Rank 5 Aegon. Boom. Just like that. And he is also getting ascended. There you go, buddy. Uh, am I lagging? Okay, no, I'm not. Cool. Okay, and then, yeah, let's just pop those sigs in him right now, too. While we can. So, sure. I have one <laughs> skill sig, apparently. And let's just get him as high as possible. That's the wrong person. These items. Um, 60? Where does that go? Okay, so let's go to 180. Sure. So I don't have enough to get him all the way there, but that's fine. And yeah, let's move on to the next champ. So let's go. It's Mojo, because I think I'm going to be doing his Karina challenge relatively soon, plus even in the meantime. At rank 5 and ascended, he'll be a great defender in Battlegrounds, I think. So, yeah, let's take up the Mojo Man. Oh. Rank 4, and then I have the uh, the X Magica 4 to 5 gem, which is why I decided on Mojo here, pretty much. Oh, there we go, rank 5, Mojo. And Mojo, on the other hand, I won't be able to sig up, so he won't be as good on attack until I do get him sigged up, and I'm definitely going to get him to sig 200 before I, uh... What's it called? Before I do the challenge, the, uh, the Karina challenge. But yeah, there he goes, because I recently opened... A, the incursion crystal so I won't be able to open that for a while and that's the only way you can get seven star mojo so I don't I don't uh, mind taking up the six star at this moment even though he exists as a seven star so yeah boom two massive rank fives added to the roster we got the Aegon and the mojo rank five ascended and one little cherry on top 
is my next ascension, or the last ascension, I guess, which is going to be Torch here. Because, uh, yeah, I have enough dust, and then I'm also going to be getting 100 from the, uh, what's it called? Paragon Gauntlet. So, don't have to worry about if I pull someone that I need and I want to ascend them, because I'll have enough. So, yeah. Torch, getting ascended as well. Boom. So, yeah, that is just so good for me. Two big champs added for my battlegrounds deck the torch and the mojo and then the Aegon for you know necropolis in the future and also incursions so yeah that's just so great but i'm actually not done because i found out i could get the four catalysts i would need uh with the selectors so i took some selectors out of the glory store and the Battleground store, and it was just enough to get me there. So now I can actually take Angela up for that incursions run, which is great. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yep, have exactly enough catalysts. So, boom. Rank 2, Angela. That's, there it is. She's not awakened, so she won't have the uh, auto block counter but that's fine in incursions that's rare that you would need it in the first place so she'll just be so strong this is the equivalent of a rank 5 ascended in terms of power level so yeah she will be really strong 5000 base attack and then just with all the fury i mean she's going to be so strong i did grind for the um, onslaught in arena did end up getting him. I pushed quite a bit higher than I needed to. As you can see, I got ranked 90, but yeah, I just really wanted to secure that onslaught. But yeah, let's just go ahead, claim that guy. Go over here. And yeah, there he is. Look at that. Nice onslaught. Very cool. Um, oh, and another update. I also claimed my nightcrawler after getting uh the circuit which i did just a few days ago i kind of pushed it towards the last minute there's only a couple days on this sitting at gamma i did end up getting it which was the last bit of things i needed so now i do have the nightcrawler i'm really happy to have him great champion as well his dex window is just so broken and he does quite a bit of damage so yeah really like that champ too all right, and last little update, uh, Battleground Season Rewards just came out, and unfortunately, the point minimum for Gamma 2 did go up in the last bit, I suppose, because I was in Gamma 2 with, like, five points to spare with, like, eight hours remaining, but that did, in fact, go up, I, I think, because I only got 20,000, whereas Gamma 2 is 22,500, I believe. So, yeah, a bit unfortunate there. So, I guess I ended in Gamma 3, which... You know, not that high of a rank. I definitely, I think I could have pushed even higher than Arcane this season, but I saved even getting Circuit until like the last three days. So I really, you know, just didn't have much time to play this month. But yeah, either way, I mean, it's just free stuff. So let's just claim that. A lot of nice rank ups and rewards that I've gotten over the past month. So yeah, my roster's looking a lot more fleshed out. There are also few like new rank threes that i didn't record doing that were like sp the spider-man supreme and doc ock a few other gems but yeah two big new rank fives in the uh the Aegon and the mojo a new ascension with the torch and then the seven star angela pull was just so awesome i did actually get my first ever itemless zone 25 push in sector six on the previous um incursions so yeah that was really fun i did it with Aegon, angela and odin like i said i was going to and yeah i didn't record that at all but yeah it was it was really fun i actually didn't even have to use angela for like almost any of it like basically i was just ramping Aegon while angela ramps with the synergy but i'd never died with Aegon. so zone 25 i was my Aegon was at 999 and I, I just used Angela for the very final fight because I was like, oh, I didn't use her the entire time. It was pretty much just a solo Aegon run 
with strategic movement and buff cornucopia, but yeah. Really, really fun. Lots of progression this month. My account is now, my prestige has increased a little bit from relics, and then my account rating is now over 3.5 million, so yeah, very big progression there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I will start doing more regular content pretty soon. Just, you know, really need to finish all of this IRL stuff before I start any of that. But once I get all this done, then it'll be straight back into, you know, Necropolis, Battleground streams, um, Act 9 streams whenever those come out, and, you know, the summer sale and all that stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And as always, spread love, not hate. Peace, everybody.